This was a surprise for science. JWST has discovered a galaxy like our Milky Way in the early universe, and that can't actually be. Our galaxy took billions of years to become a perfectly formed barred spiral galaxy. If such a harmoniously shaped galaxy appears in the early universe, it is like a miracle, or else it is an important indication that something is wrong with our previous models and theories on the development of early galaxies. Maybe the beginning of our universe was completely different and we are finally going to find out the truth. How can it be that a perfect barred spiral galaxy already existed more than 11.6 billion years ago if the universe was supposedly still in its infancy back then? Scientists have had to investigate this question ever since the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, discovered a perfect barred spiral galaxy with a redshift of 3Z. This redshift means that the galaxy existed more than 11.7 billion years ago. An astrophysicist and postdoctoral researcher at the Astrobiology Center in Madrid, Spain, tackled this question and came up with some astonishing results. Luca Constantine is an expert in the formation and evolution of galaxies. The researcher is particularly interested in the physical mechanisms that are responsible for the structural composition of galaxies and the co-evolution of the central black holes. Galaxies do not simply come into being. They are a complex interplay of matter and forces. In the imagination of researchers, the first galaxies were wild clusters and home to the stars of Population 3. These protostars are said to have been huge, lived only briefly, and allegedly consisted of completely different elements than later generations of stars. At least that is what previous calculations predicted. Researchers have described how the universe began in the theory of the Big Bang, the models of the subsequent Dark Ages, and the gradual phases of star and galaxy development. But the JWST images now tell a different story. The newly discovered galaxy, named Sears 2112, existed as a ready-made barred spiral galaxy at a time when the universe was supposedly only 15% developed. Sears 2112 is simply too perfect. What many people are not even aware of is that the JWST can see almost all the way to the Big Bang. The range of 13.5 billion years is only 300 million years away from the Big Bang. And in cosmological terms, that's a stone's throw. The universe is said to have been completely dark in the first epochs after the Big Bang. The first stars are said to have appeared only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The JWST should therefore be able to see these stars. But so far, there is no trace of these early stars. All the telescope has found so far are galaxies and black holes that look as if they are already several billion years old. Scientists are facing an exciting cosmological thriller. How will it end? Luca Constantine and his colleagues have contributed to this new adventure in astrophysics. They dedicated an entire study to the incredible galaxy Sears 2112. In the paper titled, A Barred Spiral Galaxy Similar to the Milky Way at a Redshift of 3, the mysterious early double of our Milky Way is examined in detail. The Sears 2112 phenomenon raised the question of how a star-shaped bar structure could already exist in a supposedly young galaxy. In today's universe, most massive disk galaxies show such a bar structure in their center, including our Milky Way. Until now, Researchers assume that bar structures form in galaxies with quiet stellar disks and low redshift, because in galaxies with high redshift, violent gas turbulence hinders or delays the formation of bars. Simulations indicated that in galaxies similar to our Milky Way, bars only formed in late stages of evolution. Early galaxies were far too chaotic to give rise to such a structure. But Sears 2112 is very old and shows a perfect bar structure. The stellar mass and the bar structure show that Sears 2112 can be seen as a precursor of the Milky Way. The structure and the history of mass formation fit perfectly, but what does not fit is the bar and the high degree of evolution compared to its position in the early universe. This means that the evolution of matter must have been different from what we previously imagined. According to previous assumptions, barred spiral galaxies are formed by the dynamic evolution of spiral galaxies in which a central bar of stars forms over time. This process is driven by various dynamical instabilities and interactions within the galaxy. The formation of a bar begins when gravity within the galaxy causes the orbits of stars in the inner part of the galaxy to be stretched and elongated, creating a stable bar. 
This happens either through the self-gravity of the galaxy, or through interactions and mergers with other galaxies. The bar then acts as a kind of catalyst for the further development of the galaxy by guiding gas and stars into the central regions. These processes can subsequently promote the formation of active galactic nuclei, or stimulate star formation in the central regions. In further connections, the bar influences the distribution and dynamics of stars and gas in the galaxy disk. It can stimulate the formation of beautiful spiral arms or lead to the formation of particularly impressive arms. When material is concentrated at the ends of the bar, this serves as a starting point for the spiral structure. The bar can also influence the chemical composition and star formation rate of the galaxy, as it facilitates the transport of gas to the central region, where it then promotes star formation. In recent years, observations and simulations have shown that barred structures are widespread in galaxies and play an important role in explaining the diversity of galaxy shapes and dynamics. We already knew from the research that bars can form at different stages of galaxy evolution, that bars were present in galaxies that existed more than 9.3 billion years ago was previously categorically ruled out. So what is Sears 2112? A cosmological miracle? An isolated case? Or is the galaxy a further indication that our scientists have so far overlooked crucial facts about the evolution of the universe? A galaxy for your birthday? Who doesn't dream of having their own galaxy? For Macy Finkelstein, this dream came true when her father, an astronomer at the University of Texas at Austin, discovered one of the universe's most curious galaxies on her birthday. Finkelstein promptly turned his discovery into a gift for his daughter, and since then the galaxy with the official catalog name, Sears J14 1946.36 plus 525 632.8, has simply been called Macy's Galaxy. This galaxy is one of the earliest galaxies ever observed. Just 390 million years after the Big Bang, Macy's Galaxy was already traveling through the universe as an astonishingly advanced galaxy. Stephen Finkelstein and his team are researching the decoding of light signals from very old galaxies. The JWST is a marvel of technology, yet it cannot show us very old galaxies in the excellent image quality that we can see the Andromeda Galaxy or other directly neighboring galaxies. The light from Macy's Galaxy traveled more than 13 billion years through space before reaching us. We see these light signals on Webb's images as blurred spots. But Webb sensors can read incredible things from such clusters of light. The rest is up to astronomers like Stephen Finkelstein, who interpret the results further and put them into scientific context. The JWST enabled Finkelstein's team to see the galaxy with unprecedented clarity and determine its age through precise spectroscopic measurements. These measurements confirm that Macy's galaxy lies at a redshift value of Z equals 11.4, making it one of the earliest and most distant objects ever observed. The astronomer found evidence for the existence of many very old galaxies at this time in other observational data from the telescope. The age of the galaxy named after his daughter is so far only one of the few that has been confirmed by other research groups. However, Finkelstein suspects that there were already numerous very highly developed galaxies at this epoch of the universe, which apparently differ little or not at all in shape and structure from today's galaxy. How did our Milky Way form? Let's take a look at the formation of our Milky Way and then delve even deeper into the mystery of these very old galaxies. If we want to travel to the beginning of our Milky Way, we have to go back about 13.8 billion years. Just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, a process of several complex phases began, ranging from the initial condensation of matter to the formation of a spiral galaxy. In the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe was an extremely hot, dense soup of subatomic particles and radiation. As the universe expanded, it cooled, leading to the formation of the first atoms. In this era of darkness, before the first stars shone, tiny fluctuations in the density of matter began to condense under the influence of gravity. These regions of higher density attracted more matter, leading to the first structures in the young universe, the so-called dark matter halos. Within these dark matter halos, baryonic matter, or in other words, matter consisting of protons, neutrons, and electrons, began to condense under its own gravitational force. These condensations led to the formation of the first stars and star clusters, which were the building blocks for the later galaxies. 
The fusion of smaller gas clouds and star clusters under the influence of gravity gradually led to the formation of larger structures. A galaxy the size of our Milky Way is said to have been formed by the fusion of several smaller galaxies and gas clouds. At least that's the story so far. If we follow this approach, the Milky Way was probably an irregular galaxy in the early stages of its development, which only acquired its current spiral structure through further mergers and the accretion of matter. The central condensation at the heart of the Milky Way and other galaxies is thought to have played a decisive role in shaping the galactic structure. The formation of the Milky Way and other galaxies is thought to be closely linked to the development of chemical elements. The first stars consisted mainly of hydrogen and helium, the elements that were formed shortly after the Big Bang. These stars produced heavier elements through nuclear fusion in their interiors. As they reached the end of their lives, supernova explosions dispersed these elements throughout the interstellar medium, enriching the galaxy with the building blocks for new generations of stars as well as planets and ultimately life. But the JWST discoveries show that these calculations are probably wrong. We have yet to see any of these early stellar giants, nor do we see irregular galaxies in the young universe. At a time when the universe was still supposed to be dark and chaotic, perfect harmony and order already prevailed. This means that science now has to start all over again, and that we either live in a universe that is much older, or that the universe possibly had no beginning at all and has always existed perfectly. Click subscribe now and be part of every new video.